Hi everyone, it's Helen from Durbly Werbly. Um, this is my first ever video, like showing myself in one of my videos. Um, so I guess it's a bit weird, like you can finally see what I look like. <laughs> um, it is a bit weird actually, like when you watch people's videos, I think like you could maybe imagine people to look different than they actually do, like just from hearing their voice all the time. Um, so this is what I look like. Um, I hope it's not too much of a shock. <laughs> um, so I'm in my bedroom today and I'm with all the boys in the tank and um, I was watching a few videos like last night and I thought that it would be a really good idea to do a pet tag because um, I'm still quite new to YouTube. I've only been, um, I've only had my channel like up and running since um, like November. Um, so I never really like did a video to introduce myself to YouTube. I sort of just like went straight in there with like double videos. Um, so this is just say hi and um, just to tell you a bit about me and about the channel that I do on YouTube. So I'm going to start with the questions. The first one is how old are you and how many pets have you had over the years? Um, okay, so I'm 21. I'm 22 in about two weeks. Um, um, and I've had loads of pets, like, since I was little. Um, I've always loved to keep pets because I love really love animals. I've always had gerbils, like, since I was really small. Um, I think I've had, like, four or five pairs of gerbils. Um, and then I've had, like, gaps in between when I, where I've not had any. I think my first pet was a fish um, and it was a guppy and it was called Freddy um, and then Freddy was like with another fish and they had loads of babies and then I've had aquatic frogs and I've also had newts as well, guinea pigs, um, hams I've had dwarf hamsters, um, I've had a budgie before as well. Like when I was really little, we used to have um, a blue budgie um, called Magic. Um, so I remember him. Yes, I've had quite a lot of pets. Um, I can't really count altogether. Um, okay, second question is, what are your current pets? If you watch my video, you'll know that I've got six gerbils altogether. And I also had two hamsters. I found them at home. So they've gone to a really nice girl who's on YouTube and she's um, a subscriber to my channel and um, she has like two gorgeous um, Robert Zbavsky hamsters already and um, she's called Amy and she's lovely so she came to pick them up and um, so they've gone to a really nice loving home now. Please go and subscribe to her channel. Um, I've forgotten her, her name at the moment like on YouTube so I'll put it at the bottom and um, so please go and like have a look at her videos and um, because she's really good she's really lovely okay, my pets at the moment are called um, these four in here are Mickey, Donald, Goofy and Pluto and then I've got two more hamsters called two more gerbils called Harry and Woody but Harry is now female so it's Harry short for Harriet um, which pets have you had the closest bond with? I'm going to have to say it's been... Um, my first ever gerbil was called Homer and it was a girl and I was really, like, really close to her because um, she was like really tame and like she was such a good gerbil but I think the closest ever bond I've had with my pets I've only ever had like small animals, I've never had a dog or anything. Um, it would have to be my two, my two fem female gerbils that um, passed away um, just last summer because it sounds really horrible to say but like not that I don't love my pets as much as I love them now but in a weird way they like they grow on you more and you sort of grow to love them more 
If time and money wasn't an issue, which pet would you have? I've got to say it would be a parrot because I'd love to have a parrot. Um, I love birds anyway, like as pets. And when I had buddies, I always really enjoyed them. Um, but a parrot would be amazing because I love that they're so intelligent and they can like learn to talk and um, they're so beautiful as well, like the colours that they, they, that they come in. And also it'd be really, really cool to like take care of one of them. They are really like expensive, so money would be an issue with them. And also there's so much responsibility, they live for quite a long time, so a big responsibility to look after a parrot. So you really need to know what you're getting into before you get one, I think. Um, okay, what is the best or worst thing about your current pets? I'll start with the worst thing first, because there's not that many really. Um, the worst thing about gerbils is, one of the worst things, is the mess. Um, there's not really too much mess. But the thing that annoys me most is when you're doing like um, a habitat or a cage for them or like a tank and um, you can't really have things like pretty um, because straight away like as soon as you do it like and it's all perfect you've cleaned the, you've cleaned the tank it's all perfect like the next day it, they'll just rearrange it all and like kick sawdust and sand everywhere whatever you've got in there and they'll um he's just banged the tube against the side it's really it just made me jump um yeah so they'll like rearrange everything and mess it up they're not like some hamsters you can have like really immaculate cages i know hamsters can be messy as well but um yeah gerbils like to sort of they like it the messier the better they chew everything i don't know if you can see because of if the camera angles in the right way they're chewing um cardboard tubes and toilet roll tubes and they love those, it's just about one of their favourite things to ever chew. Um, they just chew it up really small, they don't swallow it. A lot of people think that they do swallow it, but they don't. And they'll carry it all in their mouths, like the shredded pieces, and they'll go and they'll take it to their nest. And um, they make, they use it as bedding. For some reason they just really love to chew. Um, because it's not like very hard on their teeth, it doesn't really make sense why they would want to chew it because it's not helping their teeth really I guess it's helping a little bit but I think they just like to shred it up um, so yeah that can be an annoying thing that you can't have any plastic or anything not like a hamster's cage that like you can have plastic things and you know it's really good because they sell pet shops sell quite a lot of plastic things so it's really practical but with gerbils it's just really the only plastic thing that I have now is like a plastic wheel because it's so thick they can't seem to chew it um, but they have had a go um, so yeah I can't really have like plastic platforms or like a big no no because I'll just chew them up and um, I've had bad experiences like um, I bought a hamster potty once and like I didn't know that much about gerbils this is like one of my first pair, my first sets of gerbils and I bought a hamster party thinking that like they'd use it but it was all fully plastic and I put it in the cage and then within like half an hour all that was left was like a little um a little pile of plastic shredded powder um so it, it can get expensive if you insist on putting plastic in and um, so that's a bit annoying and the other thing I'd say is a smell like gerbils smell like the least um, if you read up on gerbils you'll, you'll see that they do smell like the least out of all, all of the rodents um, but changing the potty litter is probably like the smelliest thing that you'll do like in the cage it, it does hardly smell um, so that's a bit gross as I'm not really good with like bad smells um, ok the, and the best things uh, I'd say is that um, just like watching them and like the things that they do like it's really good like this big tank being in my bedroom and um, because I can just watch them at night um, and I have like a night light up here and um, which I can turn on and off I've just scared them <laughs> um, so I can see what they got up to and that's really good and um, yeah watching them like snuggle with each other is really cute I've got some really cute pictures of them which I'll actually add at the end of this 
Um, um, another really good thing, one of the best things is just that they like, they always love to play. They're really energetic. Like they're really different different to hamsters because. Um, you know, like, they do sleep, yeah, they do sleep a bit during the day, or quite a lot during the day, but they have, like, they wake up and play. So they're not fully nocturnal. Um, they are at their most active towards the evening, like, slash night. Um, but they do play quite a lot during the day, like they are doing now. And they'll just go and have, like, loads of little naps later on during the day. Um, so yeah, like you, when you wake a hamster up, you have to be really careful because they can bite you, and um, because they don't like being disturbed in their sleeping. But gerbils, like they're not as bothered, and um, they're just really like willing to play like all the time. And um, the other thing is like seeing their cute little faces. Like I love their little faces; they're so sweet. To me, like every one of them looks so different. Like even. I don't know, I don't think you can see, but you know Donald is the, like the white one in here and um, he's like the same kind of colour as Harry but to me like their faces are like completely different because when I first got um, Donald with the four um, I was worried that um, he'd look too much like Harry and I'd get them confused but I wouldn't at all if they were together I'd know them because um, their faces are just so different. I love, like, the last thing I love is, like, their personalities are so different and no gerb no two gerbils are the same. Um, so I love that about them. And then would you say you have an obsession with animals? Um, yes. <laughs> I would say I've got an obsession with animals because, um, especially small animals, and I think my, my family would probably say that as well, just because I really do like they just melt my heart like I can't go into like a pet shop and not go and look at them and I think they see me when I walk into like pets at home and they're like quick get all like the abandoned animals out that we can't sell um, so I think they get all like the old animals out that no one wants um, because they'll know that like there's a good chance I'll probably want it um, because I'm in there like all the time like one of my, my favourite shop is pets at home um, I love it yeah, and I'm also, I am animal obsessed because I'm also training to be a dog groomer. So it's it's kind of going to be a hobby and it's going to be my career at the same time. Um, so yeah, I do love dogs and I would love to get one, but um, I can't at the moment. So yeah, I am a bit animal obsessed. Um, it's all I think about pretty much. Okay, have you ever made the decision to rehome a pet? If not, could do. Yeah, as most of you all know, I've had to give up um, my two hamsters away, um, Buzz and Gus Gus. And they've, as I said before, they've gone to a really lovely girl called Amy. So I'm going to put her YouTube channel at the bottom because I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, I've forgotten what you were, what it was called. Um, but she's lovely. Um, so they, they've gone to a really nice home, which is what I wanted. It's really good. Yeah, so I think when it's for the best, and um, like they're going to a good home I think it's fine to like give an animal up but um, it's not f what is not fine is just to buy an animal and then not be willing to take it on and just when you get sick of it just give it up um, it's not good if you do that all the time um, is there a species that you will always keep as a pet well obviously it's going to be gerbils um, because I'm gerbil obsessed. To be honest, like there's not that many other people that seem to be like solely just into gerbils. A lot of people have them as like a pet alongside with something else, like I did as well. Um, but I, th I don't think they're like as common anymore, like maybe as they used to be. Um, around the time I was trying to find like some younger gerbils, like. Apart from pets at home, like um, more like um, like smaller pet shops weren't stocking them. They were stocking like older ones that had been like given up for adoption and things, but they didn't really seem to have younger ones. And like I asked them when they'd be getting some more written, and like quite a few shops told me that um, there's just not the, there's just not the demand for them anymore. Um, so 
shops are finding it quite hard to sell them. But apart from pets at home, I think most people seem to go there, so... But anyway, typically, as it would be, um, after I got these four from, like, a pet at home, then there was, like, baby gerbils popping up everywhere, so... That's always how it happens. So that's the last question is, what do you, your family and friends think about your pets? Um, all my family love them. They all love the gerbils. Um... And they always like play with them and like feed them and stuff. Um, but like my mum's a bit scared to hold them. At first, when I first got gerbils, she thought they were rats and they were really like rats and she was a bit scared of them. But um, I think like when she actually saw that they had hair on the tail and they were really friendly, like she did come round to them. And now she thinks they're really cute and she always feeds like Harry and Woody through the bars. And she like comes and sees these guys all the time, and she thinks they're really cute now. Um, some people like my friends love them, and they know like how like dedicated I am towards them, and I always go on and on about them. They think they're really cute. I've got like certain group of friends that are, like that really like animals, really into animals, and like when I studied my dog grooming, like people on my course had like so many pets, so I had something like in common with them. And so they all understood what it was like. Um, but for some people, I guess they, they don't really understand. Um, I guess if you don't have any pets, then you don't really understand, like, why would you want to keep, like, little things that look like rats in cages? But it's not like that. Um, like, people don't even realise, like, pet rats are so different to, like, street rats or, like, sewer, sewer rats. Because um, they are, like, pet rats are so intelligent. And I think they're really cute as well, but like gerbils are really different. Um, they are called they are like desert rats. It's like what what are they what they are called, but um, yeah, they're just really different because um, I don't know. Like someone compared them to squirrels the other day. I guess you could say they were like um, small squirrels. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're I think they're really cute in like their own way. Um, so, yeah, um, but a lot of people do set, do just automatically think they're rats when they see them, who don't know very much about um, animals, so. Um, and the last, very last thing it says, pick five people to tag in this video. Um, off the top of my head, I can't really, like, think of who to put. So, um, I'll tag five people down at the bottom. Um, I'm sorry if you've already done this or if you don't want to do it, but I'll just tag like five random people who may be like my subscribers or something. Um, so hopefully um, you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too long and boring for you, but I just wanted to let you know a bit more about me. Um, so please subscribe and comment if you enjoyed it. Um, that's all. Bye.